Philly's rec centers. They're supposed to be safe places where people can go, blow off some steam, play, and spend time with friends. But sadly, all too often, that's not the case. And that's the situation we're facing tonight. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Sheba Russell. Tonight, five people are still recovering from their injuries. Seanette, neighbors are upset the violence is plaguing their streets. They are, Sheba. You know, I could see the anger and the frustration in residents who walked by me tonight saying that these shootings need to stop. And tonight, this rec center really all day remained mostly empty compared to yesterday. Surveillance video shows a car full of suspects turn off of Haverford Avenue onto Farson Street last night, then crash into a convenience store. You see around six men bail from the SUV and run. A police officer trailing them gets out and pursues on foot. This is the moment following a shooting on North 57th Street between Westminster and Haverford, where today police confirmed nearly 100 shots were fired, hitting five people, one an innocent bystander sitting in his car. All while the basketball courts were full, a child's party was happening here and a youth football practice. Man, it was just terrible. Like, it's, just, it's just getting bad. Blair Coleman brought his three children and puppy to the playground at Shepherd Rec this evening. Today it just seemed a little different because it's like they out here. So I just figured I'd just bring the kids, but it's a little safer today with the cops being out here. He says he hasn't seen it this empty before. We looked around and only a handful of people on the basketball courts, which were packed this time yesterday. It's never this dead out here, so I'm just surprised. Like, but it's just the violence. Like, it's just bad. Like, and it's it make everybody stray away. It make you want to stray away. It make you not want to come outside. As Police and city leaders held a news conference at the scene this afternoon. They say three of the six suspects, 22 years old, are arrested. This is about as serious as it gets when it comes to criminal activity, and this activity will be very vigorously prosecuted by our office. Fox 29 obtained video that captures the horrifying rapid firing of gunshots. <laughs> Meanwhile, crews were out this evening clearing the sidewalk alongside the rec center where blood remained. Violence everywhere, sure. but like the city is just confi confined to it so bad. And police said in that news conference today that they believe that this all started with a feud between two groups. We also found out that police have recovered nine guns. Sheba? All right, Seanette, thank you.